I'm going to do an old, old hymn right out of your hymn book, Two Tempos, neither of which the old song is written. You might find yourself singing along an old song entitled At the Cross. So enjoy. That's a good, good song. I bet it got a lot of feet of stomping and hands of clapping out in TV land. But if you're enjoying the program so far, drop us a card, letter, and email. Check out our webpage, sign our guest book. We have our current one-hour show on our webpage every single Wednesday of every week. So uh, check that out as well. And if you're watching from another state or another country, please let us know where you're watching us from, okay? We've heard from 46 countries so far, the latest country being the country of Portugal. We've heard from a lot of these third world countries, and we thank God for every single one of you that's watching out in TV lands. So please tell your friends as well to tune us in and watch us, okay? My wife, though, studied hard, though, this week to have some encouraging words to uplift you for another week. So without further ado, here she is, Willie Pollard. Well, folks, have you enjoyed our singers so far, uh, the first half of the program? I trust that you have. Also, Billy's Wild Piano Playing. Uh, as he says, he never plays them the tempo that they're written at, so we hope you enjoyed that. Today, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever thought of God as your friend and your companion? Do you know that he is with you all the time and in every situation of your life? And I'm so thankful for that. All we have to do is trust in God's loving companionship and walk the path that he has placed before us. I want to share a few scripture verses with you. Uh, from John chapter 15 and verse 13 we read, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Jesus is our friend. Remember, he laid down his life on the cross for you and I, that we could have forgiveness of our sins. And in Matthew chapter 28, and the last part of verse 20, we read these words. Jesus said, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. I'm so thankful that he is with us, that he is our companion, that he is our friend. In every circumstance of our life, he is with us through the good times and the bad times. You may be going through some health problems, maybe some financial problems, some problems with a friend or a family member. Just remember, God is with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. And we read that in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. 
Do you remember the poem Footprints that came out and was so popular quite a few years ago? In that poem, there's a line that says, when there was only one set of footprints, that's when I was carrying you. Sometimes we may feel that Jesus is not with us, that things are going on in our life that he doesn't care about. But folks, that's just not true. He is with us all the time. Whatever the circumstances in your life, remember, he is your friend and your companion. There's a very short song that uh, is one of my mother's favorite songs, and it goes like this. You'll never walk alone. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high, and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden day, and the sweet silver sound of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. No, you'll never walk alone. Truly, we will never walk alone when we have Jesus as our friend and companion. Thank you. Sweetheart, you did a marvelous job again today. Thank you. I appreciate those kind words. And folks, just know that we'll never walk alone. Whatever the storm is you might be going through in your life, remember, Jesus is with you always, and he'll never leave you nor forsake you.